guys to some more Full Craft 3. I am the Mighty Butter, and since the end of the last episode, I've been very busy, and I'll show you what I've been doing. So, here is a little taste of what I'm going to be building. Basically, it's using as canola press, the stuff that we built down there. But I'm going to make it quite a lot bigger, quite more to it, and uh, I'm going to change up the design a bit. Still unsure how I feel about the red blocks. I know some of you might like them, but I don't know. It's very hard to design something that looks nice with such a vibrant colour. But these this basalt blocks goes really well with the Z tiles, which I really like. Yeah, but, right, so this is the idea. Power is going to go under the floor, and you're going to see all of it. Look like a real power station. I'm gonna think. I think I'm gonna build maybe three more of these. And that'll do us for now. For this type of power, for the canola power, we will have other bits of power in different places around the base. What I'm gonna do is a fermenting barrel canola press across here and across here. So we'll have um, basically a one-to-one -one ratio. One of those. One of those. One of those. And um, the closures I'm going to put up here. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put them smack on here. But then it'd just be literally a straight wall. Or if I'm going to have some kind of balcony level. And i put them a bit further back. Like, um, like maybe three back or something. A little balcony, some kind of thing like that. And the closures here. What I want to do is get some impulse item ducts for the items so I can see them going into the canola pressers. So I think that's a nice little touch. They are really good. And at the end of this, I want a big massive generator. Thinking capacitor bank. Because so you can make a multi-block structure out of these. Don't know what I want to use. Obviously, I'd want the vibrant capacitors. But we can build them from the other capacitors first because we can use them for the next one etc so if we build it at base 6 when we have the resources we can just upgrade it etc but for this build we are going to need quite a lot of basalt this is easy to make because it's just stone we've already automated the creation of stone but we do need a lot of basalt and to make basalt well when I built this I didn't realize we could make basalt but in this pack, they have added a recipe for the raw basalt, which is simply this. Stone and a lab bucket, egg basalt. But they've also added it to the igneous extruder. So water and lava makes basalt. Easy enough. Pretty sure this water doesn't get used, but if it does, it don't matter because we can use an aqueous accumulator. But the lava, we need a way of harvesting lava. So obviously the biggest lava source in the game is the nether, which is where we're going to go. And what I'm going to use to do that is this guy. A fluid pump from industrial foregoing. Because I can't really see any other way other than this immersive engineering. And I've never used that. I don't even know where it does. But there's no other pumps to use. So I think we're going to use this. So if we have a look in here, as we can see, when placed above a fluid, a fluid pump will take that fluid as a filter and begin to drain all fluids of the same type in the working area. So I'm guessing, yeah, it accepts a range add-on. So we can also create this one. I think this is the largest range add-on. Is enough, just some emeralds. So what I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna Go find a village, find a decent villager to trade with, and um, probably give him some potatoes for some emeralds. But when I've got the fluid pump and the range add on. Oh, wait, we need something else as well. We've got ender tanks in here. Yes, we're also going to need ender tanks. We've, we've automated blaze rods and ender pearls, so that shouldn't be too hard. So when I've got emeralds the range add-on so emeralds we need for the range add-on 
two ender tanks and the pump. I'll bring you back in, guys. Well, guys, I believe I have he everything we need. Range add on, fluid pump, some power for the fluid pump, ender tanks, some colours for the ender tanks, and that to make it personal. I know I don't need to because I'm in a single player world, so technically it's all mine anyway, but it's a decent habit to get into. And we've got enough diamonds to do it, so I need to go to the nether, but I'll just drop some stuff off first. Oh yeah, so while I was off camera, I created a sleeping bag, easy enough, wall, carpet, so we can sleep anywhere without setting as um, a new spawn point. And I also made the sleep charm from Dark Utilities. This is similar to our uh, gluttony charm. Don't know if we can. No. Similar to our gluttony charm from the same mod. That one makes us instant eat food, and this one makes us instant sleep. So it's very useful. Especially seeing as though part of our power comes from that solar. Most of our panel comes power comes from that solar panel. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. All you need to do is have it in your inventory, and it works. So, let's get into the nether, shall we? Seems like a decent area to start off with. So, let's... And there's a creeper. Thank you very much for that. That's not bad, actually. I'll take the blocks. So, let's build a little... Uh, oof, this could be... This could be bad. Um, like this. Let's build a little bridge out towards the center of the lab pool. That should do. And then what we'll do. Oh, I built this a bit weird. Ah. Um. I definitely built this bit wrong. Hmm. There needs to be one more down. Quickly get some more. Yeah, they're right. That should be it. That's definitely enough. We'll grow a few too. And then. Stick our fluid pump down like that. Smack above. Obviously it's detected that we're making lava. So what we need to do now is power up as fluid pump with our network. There we go. It's getting lava. Now what we need to do is put our range add on in. Why are you not working? What are you doing? Well, it's clearly got the entire working area. Huh. Something wrong? Maybe we need to get somewhere to output it to first. Maybe? No? Huh. Stopped. It's because I didn't put the range out on. Ah, see. Okay. I'm just gonna sort this out, guys. I think it's because we didn't put the range out on in fast enough. And um, I'll be right back. So I've sorted it out. Before I put the power to it, I've put the range out on in. So now it should work. Notice it didn't output straight to the end of tank, so maybe we need some kind of fluid pipe. So I don't know if it'll push through the fluid pipe without a servo, but I've got a servo just in case. I've uh, changed this to red, red, red for lava. Put on the diamond, and I believe blue is input, orange is output. So should all start working when we connect up the power. Well, it's picking up the lava, and it's still going. Hopefully it keeps going, even though it's not connected to the rest of the lava anymore. Looks like it is. 
and doesn't look like it's pushing straight up. So let's stick the server in here. Ignore the redstone. Hopefully. Yes. There we go. It is working. It looks like it replaces the lava with cobblestone. So it doesn't create lag with flowing lava. Which is very good. But yeah. Don't think a servo can actually keep up with the lava. Okay, so we tend to tax full. So there we go, guys. There's our lava. Probably have to come back at some point to move this around a bit. But for now, it should keep going. What we're going to have to do, though, is claim this chunk and chunk load it. Not 100% sure if we've got to claim all the chunks that it might pull out of. Hopefully, if that's chunk loaded when it's harvesting the lava, it chunk loads that spot too. But we should find out soon because we'll probably end up running out of lava if not. So, we're going to go back to base, set up our ender tank. Um, what did we need for the basalt again? Igni want an igneous extruder? So, I'll build that as well. Yep. Igneous extruder. What? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so these fluid ducts can only hold, as you can see there it says, will break if contents are extremely hot or cold. So we're going to have to get some better fluid ducts first. Fluid ducts. Maybe any temperature. Okay, so I'll make some hardened fluid ducts. I'll make the igneous extruder and I'll make us another aqueous accumulator and I'll be right back. So we should now have everything we need. I went to the back to the never and sorted um, all that out. Made us aqueous accumulator, two water sources. Place the igneous extruder down. It should fill up with water, which it did. Place power back. So that should power all these machines now. Yep. Already set to basalt. So, don't need that one, that one, that one. Input on that one. Input that one. Uh, output. Do we want to output somewhere? Let's move this, actually. I can go up there. So, what we'll do is we'll output to a chest on this side. And uh, add a fluid up here. There's that. Change those to red. And that, that should be output. So we're gonna need another servo. Servo. Let's just make the hardened one to go with the hardened duct. And a chest. Let's make this chest. Let's upgrade this chest. Somewhere. Where's the iron chests? Um, here we are. Can we upgrade it again? Yes. What about again? Yes. That just makes it see through. No, that's okay. So now we've got diamond chest. Should give us enough basalt. Put that there. That does not need to have any of those. Right, so. Servo. Ignore the redstone. There we go. Basalt. Yes. Okay, so this obviously can be upgraded. Which... I think we're going to do because it is a bit slow. So we need upgrade kit. Should be able to make this one easy enough. Bronze gear. Okay, so we need some bronze. So, some copper. Ah, I forgot we're out of tin. Huh. Typical. Maybe as void our miner's got some tin. Got any tin? No? Even working. No tin. Okay. 
That's a bit disappointing. So I'll go find some tin. Upgrade this machine so it's a bit faster. And I'll bring you back afterwards. So I've got the speed upgrade and I've got the upgrade kit for our Ignis Extruder. There we go. You can see it's now a lot faster and has more power. So this doesn't seem to be keeping up anymore with the lava we're using. Hmm. So maybe we should make some speed upgrades. There is some speed upgrades available for these machines from Tesla Core. Should be easy enough. Paper. Paper, paper, paper. Paper? Can we make paper out of rice? Yes. Rice paper. Lots of paper. Okay, so let's create this. What do we need for number two? Ah, so we need two for two. So there we go. Ah, hot damn. There we go. Speed upgrades. Obviously, it consumes more power. I hope it's just not because it chunk loaded. Okay, so I still get in lava in or not? No. Why? Why is it not chunk loaded? What's happening? Does chunk loading not work? So now, lava's going in. Okay, so something's going on with the chunk loading. Chunk loaders? So we should have chunk loaded the right chunk. Dimension. Does this not work with dimensions? Damn. Maybe we need a... Maybe we need some kind of different chunk loading. Do you work with dimensions? Gold. Okay. Chunk loading. Maybe it works better with that rather than the FTP, but let's upgrade this. There we go, it's a lot faster. Okay, so if we go back home and we run out of lava again. The FTB chunk loading doesn't work, and we should probably see if we can sort that out with the other, other thing. So that's creating a nice amount of basalt. Right, um, let's just make the weirding gadget just in case. Keep it up with power. Yeah, let's make it. Why not? There we go. Seems to be stable at the minute, but I don't really know how it works. Hopefully this keeps the dimension loaded as well. Really disappointing if it doesn't. We'll need to figure out a different way to get lava. Let's just... Now we've got the weirding gadget and we've got the FTB chunk loader. So hopefully that should keep going. Okay, so now it's not even using lava. Okay, what is going on? Do we need two of these weirding gadgets? All right, so I'll just watch this. If it runs out of lava again, then we know there's a problem with chunk loading. If it don't, then just make a weird and gadget for this this world. 
for whenever we're in a different dimension so it stays loaded. So guys, this has been running for quite a while now. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of basalt and it's stayed full the entire time. So I believe the weirding gadget has definitely fixed the chunk loading issue we had. So what I've been doing while waiting to see if that were working is I've started laying out a bit more of the power station. So, like I said, another four more of these. So I will off camera probably copy this design into these. These will go up too. The impulse fluid ducts, no impulse item ducts, kind of um, kind of a bit expensive. So you need tin. We don't have any tin for a start. And a guy's glowstone. Don't have a way of crafting the energized glowstone. So for now, I think we'll just end up putting normal item ducts in there. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the cloche up here too. Um. Don't know what we're going to use for those. I have been looking at the pipes from Immersive Engineering. Just needs iron. They do look kind of cool, so maybe, maybe we'll use those. I want um, one block high, so we can, when we're walking in the middle, we can see them a bit at least. I'm not sure yet. Might lower it all down. I don't know. I haven't decided. I do like the height. It looks all right. Um, figure out what we're going to put on the balcony. The ones that I do like are the steel fences from Immersive Engineering. I believe they're going to be the perfect colour for this build. Definitely. Um, but yeah, we'll have... Oops, forgot I haven't put glass in there yet. We'll have uh, the room open up a bit on the end. Put some kind of big power generation machine in... Uh, power storage machine in here, something like that. Not really sure yet. Might have some of the um, flux storage stuff in here as well to increase his network storage. Try and make it look pretty cool. Um, and then obviously a big roof. Might arc it over a bit. You know, like we've been doing with these tunnels, but potentially a bit better. Probably going to stick with the black, quite clear glass because it looks pretty cool. I like definitely like the board around the edge. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to have to wait until I'm off camera for more of that because we don't have the don't have the resources to do it now. Been waiting quite some time. I believe this still hasn't done much. No, we've only picked up two tin the entire time I've been there. We are getting glowstone from it. Hopefully, at some point, we'll be able to make another one of those or the next upgrade of those to get this going a bit faster but yeah definitely want to keep going with environmental tech and stuff like that so I think between episodes I'll build some more of this and then next episode what I want to get into is some food Time's Harvest Craft adds a hell of a lot of food we can automate almost all of it and uh, yeah, instead of drinking this crappy apple juice that makes stupid noises, I think that friggin' sucking noise has been in every video so far, I want to make something different. I might, I don't know, I might take some inspiration from one of the YouTubers that I watch, Gaming on Caffeine, and make a cheeseburger factory. Similar design, obviously I'll shake it up a bit, not copying him. But, yeah, should go watch him, he's very good. Him and uh, Nick, very interesting to watch. Watched him for quite some time. He actually inspired me to start my own YouTube channel. But yeah, um, cheeseburger, let's have a look. Deluxe cheeseburger, we could also actually make that, yeah. So we'll get dairy, grain, protein, and vegetable. Yeah, that looks good to me. But yeah, cheese, hamburger, beef, toast. Toast just cooked bread. Obviously, bread's flour. Flour's just wheat in you know, a sag mill or something like that. Easy enough. Yeah, guys.
So guys, we haven't got too long left on the ep this episode, but for the last bit of the episode, what I want to do is I want to upgrade our jetpack. So for this, we need a lot of invar, which we have created. We need a couple of reactant dynamos. So let's do it. Let's sort this out. Can we make that now? No. Two of those. Can we make them? Oops. Can we make that now? Yes, there we go. So, what about this? We need two of these. That gives us them. We need one of those. So, those. There we go. Flux capacitor. And we should have everything else. There we go. Add a jetpack. Tier 2 jetpack. Let's sleep. Watch. This is a sleeping charm. Boop. Done. Easy peasy. Let's throw you in there. Shouldn't take too long to charge. Let's have a look at the next jetpack. So all we really need magmatic dynamo, invar gears, electro... Ah, we need destabilized redstone for this. We do need to go through all of these, so at some point we will make that one. And then the Enderium one. But I don't think we've got the resources yet. Flux influence jet play. Create a flight modifier. It's part of environmental tech. It's not even showing us thingy here, is it? Innovation Dynamo. What? I don't know what that is. Okay. I'll charge that up again later. So I believe when you upgrade the jetpacks to get faster. Yeah, it's got a lot faster. And the... Oh, how do we change the mode again? That's not what I'm going to do. Uh, simply... Jetpacks? That's what I want. Category. Simply jetpacks too. Uh, hover mode. L. I believe the hover mode should slow us down a bit more. Yeah, it's slowing us down a bit more. The further you get, the closer to basically creative flight you do. So this this will help us get around a lot. Go up faster so I can get around faster. But yeah. Base looks pretty nice from up here. So, yeah. So guys, uh, that's the end of this episode, sadly it's that time, I hope you've all enjoyed the video, I will do some more work on this, I don't know if I'll finish it before the next video, but I will do some more work on it, I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, it really lets me know that you like what I'm doing, that you like my content, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, thank you, bye bye.